Hey guys, this is Metal Slash here. Um, I am new to YouTube, and lately I've been watching a lot of videos on game development and the process of developing whether it's a complete game or just a game for fun. Um, that's been mainly in the Unity engine. As you can tell from my background, I love Gears of War. It's one of my favorite games. And you say, why don't you use the Unreal Engine? I have tried to use the Unreal Engine before, and I get to a point where I get quite frustrated with it, where the code isn't doing what I want to or something. Um, that's not necessarily the engine's problem. It's I wasn't able to get uh, Infringe, which is as a debugger for it that connects from the engine to uh, Microsoft Studio so it, it uh, you can debug and co go through your code a lot easier than uh, uh, doing the compiling checks the restarting the engine and all that it was just a big hassle for me so the uni engine is a another free engine that is fairly powerful and I've been working with it a little bit and I've been trying to create an RTS style of game but before I show you guys any of the game it's actually I'm just gonna go into the uh, basics of the game right now I don't I'm not even gonna go into the uh, actual code of it I'm gonna go into that in later videos but for right now the uh, game I want to create is called binary it is an RTS game as I said and my writing is terrible I'm sorry about that I'm doing it on a tablet on my lap and it's not the easiest thing in the world um, the premise of the game is you're a hacker slash uh, programmer I mean they're both the same thing but whatever um, and the world is basically just a motherboard and on that the uh, when you start off you'll have a CPU that's your main base or your command post or whatever you want to call it and then from there you have your hard drive which you can treat that as your barracks units can uh, spawn out of it and uh, units I'm gonna call them programs because just keeping with the premise of the whole motherboard and all that and then you're gonna have you're gonna have RAM this is gonna serve as kinda of the supply depots like in StarCraft I'm promising a lot of this off StarCraft because it's such an awesome RTS. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to produce a lot of the fluidity through it, but I'm going to try my best because it'd just be awesome if I could make something like that. Um, so the connection between the two, uh, CPUs, you can't create more than one CPU. You can, however, create multiple uh, hard drives and RAMs by uh, placing them down on the motherboard. The way you would do that you'd have this giant hand that comes down and places them. Terrible drawing of a hand but that's what it's going to do because well, it's just trying to bring in more the realism that you know you you can't just like spawn AI, you know, a piece stick a RAM or a hard drive there. So trying to kind of keep it where the hand puts it down, and you know the program spawn out of the hard drive, and you know with multiple hard drives, if say a hard drive got um, destroyed, all the programs within that hard drive would now be destroyed as well because there is no space for the CPU to control them on and kind of the uh, thoughts that I've had for uh, um, units 
kind of just simple things. Um, I might get more complex, but I was just thinking of doing simple blocks. Um, I could do cylinder type design. Uh, I was just going to do basic align. And the enemy units would be more uh, kind of, uh, I guess, vicious. I, I haven't really decided a lot on the uh, enemies you'll be facing, but you're going to be probably red units versus like green or blue units is like the typical um, good guy, bad guy thing. Um, so basically that's about it for what I've thought about the game of binary. You know, if you guys want to... Uh, you know, give your opinion on what you think of it. You can hate it, whatever. Um, I'm making the game, and I'm going to kind of try to go over the thought process that I put through every part of the design, whether it was the movement, the art, whatever. So thanks, guys, for listening. See you next video.